Today we are going to place out our collection boxes for IMO1. IMO1 uh, is the abbreviation for Indigenous Microorganisms. Buenos días. Hoy vamos a, a colocar nuestras cajas de la comida en, en la selva. Um, it was what for IMO1? To create IMO1? This is the first step for creating... Uh, ¿Cuál es el primer paso para crear... Um, indigenous Microorganisms. Microorganismos indígenas. Es el paso número uno. And so we will go out uh, to the forest. Entonces vamos a salir a la selva, al and, bosque. And we'll take these uh, collection boxes. Y llevamos esas cajas uh, de colección. And so we have uh, rice in here. Lo que tenemos adentro es arroz. Like that. Así mismo. It's dry cooked rice. Es arroz cocido en seco. So it wouldn't be popular at a dinner party. Entonces no es popular para comer. Very al dente. Uh, es un poco más al diente, más duro. But the um, for our purposes, it allows airflow through the rice. Pero para nuestro propósito, eso deja el aire uh, entrar más fácil en, en el arroz. Which is very good for the aerobic organisms that we want mm -hmm. to be cultivating. Que es muy bueno para los organismos aeróbicos que queremos cultivar. So what we'll do is we'll cover with the paper towel and we'll cover with a screen. I'll leave a corner open because we'll tuck some fungi inside on top of the rice. Lo que se hace es que se pone papel toalla aquí encima y después se pone la, la malla encima y se, se grapa. Pero vamos a dejar una esquina abierta porque ahí queremos poner eh, el fungi que vamos a encontrar en la selva. So I'll go ahead and attach the uh, next paper towel and uh, we'll hit the road and go uh, find some microbes in the forest. Entonces él va a terminar la última caja poniendo el papel y, y la malla y después vamos a ir a la selva para cosechar y buscar la, los fungi. I use a uh, basic office stapler so that they're easy to remove after. Él usa una grabadora de oficina como este, uno normal, para que sea más fácil de remover después. But you can use whatever you have. You could even tie a string around it. Pero se puede usar cualquier herramienta que uno quiera, lo que sea más útil ahí en la casa. Puede ser hasta con macate o hilo para ponerlo, lo que sea. We want the paper towel to be tight. Queremos que el papel toalla sea eh, pegado bien. And the rice is only three, uh, two thirds full. Y el arroz eh, que está dentro solo va hasta dos tercios de la caja. We don't want the moisture that will accumulate to cause the paper towel to go down and touch the rice. No queremos eh, que el, el, la humedad o el agua que se acumula Que, que va a mojar la, el papel para que baja y toca el, el arroz. No tiene que estar bien pegado. We will put the uh, screens on when we get up there. Vamos and, a poner la malla eh, cuando subimos. Let's head out. Let's Pero go for a drive. Vamos a seguir. Vamos a manejar al lugar ahora. Okay, so we're here in the jungle. Um, up Upland from the property. Ideally, we're collecting IMO1 about 500 feet increase in elevation from where we're farming. Um, that's, there's generally a, a slightly hardier varieties um, where there's harsher conditions. So higher altitude equals slightly harsher conditions and uh, better microbe collections. So we've uh, been, been uh, looking, looking through the forest and um, jungle here, and we found a good spot where there's an abundance. And so um, we have um, some macro mushrooms here, um, and uh, and then we have our mycelium, lots and lots of it. So we've collected a little pile from different places in the jungle, and we're going to add that to our collection. And uh, we're going to place our box. So 
Um, one of the first things we want to do, yeah, if you want to hold this for me, Daniel, I think it's going to be easier. One of the first things we want to do is I will identify um, some individual like strands of the fungi and we will uh, remove all the organic matter. So it's just the body itself. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge that we left open and we're going to allow that piece of fungi to go right in on the rice, um, which will give it kind of first shot at um, inoculation. And so we'll do a couple of those. We'll do one more here. Again, I'm gonna remove the debris, the um, organic matter, just because there's so much other stuff going on on that. And we don't want it to be so bacterial rich that it uh, liquefies our rice. So we're gonna just remove some pieces and then take that uh, piece of fungi all by itself and allow that first shot at our abundance of food. Um, next, we'll take our stapler, which I think I put right here, and uh, finish, complete, um, the process of pinning down our um, cage and our paper towel. Uh, this is important because there are some very smart critters that will um, look for the edges of this, um, bend them up, and try and eat our rice. So the cage is very important um, so that we don't do all this effort and then find that our rice got eaten. Because then, if our rice does get eaten by something or they put their mouth on it, um, we will collect only um, the bacteria of the um, mouth of the uh, critter. So look at all these, these mushrooms and stuff around. This is a great place where a balanced um, microbial kind of food web has been struck. So what we'll do is we'll just tuck the box right in here. And, um, and then um, we'll put some of our beneficial fungi that we found at different places on top. Some of our leaf mold, etc. And um, anything we might find right around the area could go on top as well. So we'll pull up just a little bit more of the fungi to put on top. Again, the, the paper towel is porous enough for fungal spores to fall through. So as some of that material dries and sporulates um, or is active, um, we'll get some uh, further inoculation of the rice. Okay, next we have to protect it from the rain. So um, we're gonna create a cover with zip ties. Oops. And um, we'll pin the corners. Uh, the key here is we want to um, we want to maintain um, un momento. Uh, we want to maintain a um, uh, airflow. So um, the the height of it matters. So we're going to go as high as we can with one corner so that we can stay up. Um, the airflow is important because while well, we have the fungi um, kind of physically added to the rice, the bacteria and the yeast can move, um, fall from the leaves um, and flow in the wind um, and uh, come into our, our uh, 
collection here. So we want to provide enough airspace for that all to be possible. Bueno. So we have uh, a little piece of fungi that I'll go ahead and put right in the box. We'll just tuck it in and let it have first shot at our rice. Um, often I'll see big blooms right coming off of that piece I put in. Um, it's a little detail that kind of just helps to um, foster success to have a nice fungal bloom on your rice collection. All right, now we'll put our cage on, keep the bigger critters out. All right, now we'll cover the box and all the things we found from the surrounding area and other blooms of mushrooms, but not too uh, wet and we don't really want to put it right on the center um, because we don't want it to sag the paper so we can but in addition to the fungi that we have here um, in these leaves and the debris that it's growing on there's also other parts of the ecosystem um, the the natural kind of order of things is also happening in conjunction with them so we're getting a little inoculation of kind of the whole community and by bringing in these pieces. And that's the goal. We want the diversity, the kind of diverse microbial community that's happening um, here in the wild forest um, so that we can establish it on land that we're in cultivation on or we're cultivating. So lots of good things happening here. And we want to capture it and uh, spread it. So while we wander, what we're looking for is a place of bloom, a place of abundant, overflowing amounts of fungi. Um, that's where we want to place our collection. And then we want to bring some material from the surrounding area to add to it. So here's, here's a spot that looks pretty good to me. As you can see, the whole floor is the fungi. All of it is the bloom. And so this will be the base of our box. It'll be where we place it. All right, now we've placed our box. Um, we put it right on top of the fungi. Some of the ants will probably investigate it and carry some of our fungi in. Um, the cover completely protects it from rain, but as you can see, there's plenty of space, allows for airflow. Um, there's lots of different ways to do this, guys. You can create a, um, a little tin hat or anything. We just, the main points are no rain and plenty of airflow for um, this to go. Off to the next one.